Hi, I'm Perry Wang, and uh, I've made the Crystal Caverns, and it's uh, based on a fictitious uh, amusement park uh, ride from the 90s. And uh, the, what we've got here is a, a ride that you might see at maybe like a Disneyland or a uh, uh, California Adventure. And we have an entrance here at the front. And of course, we've got the strollers here. <laughs> and if you've ever been at one of these theme parks where you see the strollers, they're all the same color. So when you come out, it's impossible to find your stroller, right? And it's buried deep in there. So then you, you get in, there's the greeters. You stand in this line that is usually about 45 to an hour. Come all the way around and up and you board the monorail right here. And it, of course, it's an Arctic theme. So I was really inspired for what you see um, inspired by things like Toontown and Cars Land, where as a guest from the ground level, you look up and it looks like this expanse, a landscape, mountains. Mm -hmm. But if you were to actually see it from sky view, you'd realize it's, they're all fake. Everything's fake. There's fake mountains, mm -hmm. everything. And uh, it being my very first build, um, I won last year this monorail and uh, started by building that monorail and then adding things to it around it as I went. So. Um, let's see what we got. So this is the guest section that we have, and then I can take you over to the yeah. sound stage. So basically, I ran out of white brick, right? <laughs> and I had a lot of tan brick. So I said, okay, I'm going to make a sound stage for the rest of it. So as you're riding the monorail, you, you get to see the interior. And so I have an entire interior scene where they're, they're looking for the, cat, the crystals. They're getting special crystals, and they're getting those out of there. But then if you go and look at the outside, you see it's a, just a plain soundstage like you would see at a theme park. Mm -hmm. And you've got um, a wampa actually escaping from the ride. And they've called the firefighters to help with the situation, right? And you've got a couple of maintenance guys that are running out of fear, right? And then we've got some of the costume guys taking a break. Uh, and they're completely oblivious to the danger that's just around the corner. Yeah. So that's what I built. Crystal Caverns. <laughs> no, that's that's very cool. I love that build there. And if you want to talk about the central section a little bit more here, so what do you got going on, like the towers and stuff here? Oh, great. Yeah, so the idea is it's an Arctic base that it has been built on top of an older Arctic base, right? So the older section is actually in here, and there's lights and things in there, and there's actually some type of X-ray problem that's happened. So if you look really closely, you might be able to catch the... Uh, skeletons that are in there, there's an x-ray sign, and then what we've got is uh, vines that are overgrown and uh, having some kind of craziness. And then we've got the new base is actually excavating the old base plus the, the uh, crystals. So they've been able to dig up a Batman out of ice, <laughs> right? He's been there a very long time. We've got the current residents like the Yeti over here. And we've got a, a dragon tail that is just kind of peeking out out of one of the caverns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, for the new section, the new parts of the base, what they're doing is they're looking for uh, different types of crystals. they got computers. It's a lot more high-tech, cell phone tower, big old satellite dish. Um, and then, of course, a helicopter to uh, keep things going and get transportation in and out at a better clip. And then we've got huskies in here um, that are mostly working, mostly barking at this uh, polar bear over here. They want his fish. And then we've got a criminal trying to get out to get this uh, little crystal, but he can't get it because there's already a box of crystals on top. And I, I called this irony and I told five-year-olds that's the definition of irony and they're just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Crazy adults. Yeah. Some things aren't always meant for the kids. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> well, you've got so several moving parts then. Does this stay pr running pretty well throughout the whole show, or do you have problems with things kind of breaking down as they run throughout the day? Yeah, so absolutely uh, problems. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time putting motors into it, and I did the motors uh, always kind of after the fact, right? So there's two motors. There's one for this guy here, and uh, there's another motor in here that runs the helicopter and the little huskies. And uh, this one, I made the mistake of using a rubber band, a Lego rubber band to kind of help with the drive. And um, last night, the rubber band snapped. Oh. Yeah, so I had to go in there and dig everything out of there to get to it. 
And uh, luckily, I was able to grab one of the rubber bands off of my build, right? So I have three of these, I have four before, um, and I was able to replace it. So I think it'll hold up for the next two hours. We'll see if it goes longer than that. Um, so it has the two motors, the motor on the monorail, and two lighting systems. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, very impressive. I think it's a great little kind of theme park idea here. I like the way you laid it all out. So thanks for bringing it to the show, and thanks cool. for chatting with me about it. Cool. Thank you, Josh.